Hardly Chucky Mark artist taxi driver here, but it is me and I am on an important supply run to Aldi's. I'm sitting next to uh, another little Nissan Micro and a little lad has just got in. He's listening to his, uh, must be his phone or whatever on his headphones. And he's locked himself in the car and his mum's just gone in. <laughs> Poor little fella. Perhaps he thinks I'm having a video call with somebody. So that's all right. He won't think I've gone totally off me nut yet. Yeah. It's weird, man. I've seen... Two or three people go in and come out with masks on. Um, just looking at a lady going in now. She looks quite elderly. Seen a van pulling up on the other side. My wife's in there doing the shopping at the moment. There's a great big Aldi lorry that's obviously been uh, restocking them, so they're obviously still busy. Um, the place is quiet. It's beautiful, man. It's so lovely. Everywhere is locked down. I feel like I'm outside in some disaster movie. By the way, have you started watching the uh, BBC One drama, Survivors? I've put a link to it on earlier. You must watch Survivors. One of my friends described it in America, she was watching my link, and she said it's like surreal. Survivors was made in about 1970-ish. I'm going to say ish, because I can't remember exactly when. I think it was something like 72, maybe 74. I was still in my teens, may have even still been at school, yeah. But guess where the virus starts off? China. Well, even Trump couldn't have predicted that one from the great Terry Nation, who wrote for the BBC Doctor Who. Everybody back in the 70s, though, seems to be so much nicer. Not that I'm encouraging going back to the 70s. Well, then again, when you consider the price of a pint, there's people in this series like Peter Bowles, who was the kind of typical English gentleman. And uh, some of it takes place in this country house place of isolation some of it takes place in uh, a city but one thing is for sure the old virus spreads pretty fast and knocks out the world's population another thing we see too in the series is a train running with british rail at a british rail station and a British rail porter with a proper British rail hat on. Yeah. It's weird watching that. I feel like I'm retreating into my past, going back to a time of certainty when, yeah, there were strikes, but there was a bit of solidarity amongst the working class then. Yeah, there were power cuts, but we were solid people were solid with the miners before Thatcher came up with there's no such thing as society any of you realizing that there is society now you know the no such thing as is like a load of bollocks isn't it yeah yeah somehow this is kind of showing us all that there is a society a few quick ones um yeah sure old Gove's daughter got a test oh yeah one law for the rich and one for the rest of us, eh? Yeah, definitely. And um, Stanley, Stanley Johnson has buggered off to his uh, getaway in Cornwall somewhere. I've just seen a real big black van pull up. No, it's not a funeral ambulance. Another one? Um, don't believe the death tolls. Yeah, they're, they're completely under-reporting. It's bloody obvious people are dying in homes and care homes. We're seeing stories of bodies left in bedrooms and on floors for two to three working days. Um, we're seeing that even the uh, NHS are running out of body bags and they're having to wrap, wrap bodies in sheets. Don't believe any of that hype. It's completely and utterly untrue. The PPE thing obviously still going on. 
Um, the uh, non-apology by Pretty, well, it, well, what can I say? He just didn't apologise. Seems from Mr Handcock that the uh, PPE thing is a logistical rather than a supply problem. We've never had to resource and supply so many different locations with PPE, except some of the stuff they're getting apparently is still 19 years old. Yes, so although we may have had a stockpile, we clearly didn't maintain it up to date. You're being, uh, you, you, your medics are being covered by stuff that's been around for nearly 20 years. Yep. Anyone who is begging for lockdown to end, please don't. Yeah, Spain are getting a second wave by the looks of things now. China's probably into a second wave too. Don't end lockdown yet, please. There's a really rather fashionably dressed woman coming towards me with holes in her trousers. For crying out loud, I guess they are supposed to be fashionable, but, you know, just give me a pair of black trousers and I'll cut the holes in for you. I don't know, perhaps she wanted the ventilation or something. Yeah. Right, well, that is me on today's update. Just uh, wait for my wife to come back, and I'm going to finish my can of Coke now as well. It just feels weird, because the roads are so empty. Even the Italian hand car wash in, in Great Yarmouth, where I'm assuming, I'm assuming they only wash Italian cars by hand, even that's closed. I think... Oh, am I looking across to the old, you can't get quicker than a quick, quick fitter? I think quick fit is still open. Um, but that's it. Yeah. Okay, folks, stay locked down, stay safe. Uh, I'll see if I can post this in a bit. Might even post it when I get home. Okay, bye.